All right. So, I wasn't feeling quite done with my work yet. I ended up doing some uh, cable low rows uh, with the multi-bar, really working on uh, shoulder blade retraction. And then uh, <clears throat> I did some kettlebell swings and burpees, 2015-10-5 of each. Uh, trying to get it done as fast as possible. I used a 32K kettlebell, 70 pounds, and uh, just tried to get my burpees up high. So now that I'm done, always hit the foam roller if I have one around. If I don't, I'm kind of shit out of luck or I use something else. So I like starting with the calf. I know I've made a video about this before, but that was before. This is now. So I'll cross a leg over. Get all the weight on there. Feels good. Taking the time rolling it. Because usually they're pretty sore. Roll the other one. Too, because it tie in back there. Go back, start working my way up to the hamstring. Getting across the leg over. I kind of turn my toes inward, my whole leg inward. Get the inside of the hamstring, center of the hamstring, outer portion, and then back. Get a nice slow switch. Oh, this one's sore. And again, these videos aren't an instructional. These aren't for instructional purposes. It's not a how-to video. It's simply what I'm doing on my journey to strongman. So take it for what it is. This is what I do. You don't need to do any of this. But this is my journey. And then I'll roll up the glute. So I'll cross one leg over. And the leg that's crossed this is the glute that gets rolled. Kind of turning on the sides. Really working it deep into the hips, kind of sore in there. It's been a couple weeks since I got the foam roll real good anyway. supposed to roll your low back because it's uh, already curved enough but you have muscles in there too so I like to roll it and then up to the thoracic spine oh it's popping fingertips over the ears elbows pulled in tight to open up the shoulder blades
So now that the rolling is done, my favorite stretch is the PNF stretch, neuromuscular facilitation, just using the other side of the body to stretch apart. So I'll start with my right leg. This is just a band, about 30 pounds, half inch band. Use whatever you need to. I open it up and place it on just under the ball of the toe. With that bottom leg straight and minimal tension in the band, I'll lay back, bringing that leg up as high as you can, keeping the butt down. Hold it there for 30 seconds. Keeping the leg nice and straight. That heel down. Bring the leg across the body without lifting the hip. Then I'll just do that two times on each side, and that is my stretch for that. My other stretches soon to come. Uh, I'm going to post some videos about my core work too because my buddy keeps asking me about it. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. Hit me up on facebook.com slash no excuses functional strength and conditioning or email me gcali, uh, no, ex G -Cali, no excuses at gmail.com. I don't know why I can't remember that all the time, but. That's my email, or shoot me a text, whatever the case is, I'm here, uh, and I'm uh, more than willing to help. As long as you're willing to put the effort in, I'm willing to help. All right? That's kind of what no excuses is about. You do the work that needs to be done, not that necessarily wants to be done. All right? You guys take care. Keep your nose clean. Don't break the laws. Break the rules.